Okay, this is the oh, uh oh. For all things Halloween. <laughs> hey, this is Hot Former, and guess what, ladies and germs? Some exciting news. Michaels is beyond just the Limax Spooky Town. Oh, yes, 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 yes. You can see the Spooky Town in my Spooky Town themed video. Uh, watch that at your own risk. Today, we're looking at not just Spooky Town, but the rest of Michael's lineup, which includes some really nifty stuff. So, this storm's a brewing. Let's get to chewing that Michael's Halloween goodness. This is technically the first animatronic at Michael's in a long time, and uh, I don't know how I feel about it. However, they do have these blow molds, which, while cool and of good quality, I don't know, they just look a little too clean for my liking. The ghost is a tad cooler because at least he's got that kind of classic Halloween feel to him. I believe these are the boxes. Up here, this caught my eye, this eye. I do love me some big eyeballs and, well, that's one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. You have these color-changing ghosts. Uh, these are all $19.99, by the way. And here you have uh, something. Oh, the button's right here. It was hidden in plain sight. They got Alvin, Simon, and Theodore dead. They're deceased right there. Look at that. Okay, well, I can't even explain this. And these are 30 bucks each. Up here you have these lights. Lights. And lights. And lights. Ooh, I do like those eyeball ones. Check that out. That is actually pretty swifty. This is a Halloween branch garland light. Looks like they're all in orange. I thought there might have been a couple of purple ones, but... Maybe I'm just not seeing them here. And over here, we have Halloween ornaments. And this is a black Christmas tree that you can basically make into a Halloween tree. And they do have some jack-o'-lantern ornaments, eyeball ornaments. I love the eyeball stuff, Michaels. Keep it going. And some classic colors. Uh, I don't know how to feel about this. I can get behind the pink. I don't know. Barbie? Uh, it's going to be over. The meme's going to be over by the time that happens. Here's a little more traditional. And uh, continuing in the tradition of classic Halloween, just an assortment of very old school ornaments. Very cool though, I'd love to see. If anyone does the Halloween tree, drop a comment below. I'd love to see them. For my crafty folks out there, there are a lot of DIY scares at Michael's. Coming over here, they have the ceramic stuff. I thought this might have been like foam, but no, this is, uh, that's full out ceramic. You have a haunted house, well, to be haunted house. And then you have a skull with a brain. That one's kind of cool. Got the rib cage here, a heart, not a, I love you heart, but like a heart heart. And then, I'm trying to guess what that is. It looks like a snake uh, on something. Something with a skull. Pumpkins, pumpkins, skulls. Got like a book opened up. Uh, and then some other ceramic pieces. Again, you have wooden pieces too. They usually do these every year. They're little coffins. Although snakes are a theme. I'm noticing snakes, eyeballs, and moths. Moths, not just at Michael's, but I've seen a few moth pieces scattered about. Here are some examples of the paint jobs that probably the Michaels employees have done, which is cool. You have this witch, which is neat, carved out of wood. You have a pumpkin. This one actually lights up. You'll see in a moment, they have a lot of light up uh, neon types of things going on this year at Michaels. And some cool signs. This one says dead end. Oh, it's like a tombstone. And then just to the side over here, more little wooden crafts. A brain, oh, I like that brain. Rib cage, and there's another moth. 
and an eyeball and a snake. See, I'm noticing a trend. It's also a dinosaur with uh, a candy pail. I don't know how to feel about that. I do like dinosaurs though. And a bat and a ghost and a cat and a kind of a cutesier bat, but I like the look of it. A lot of decor, what's down here? Oh, it's like a beaker. I thought it was a martini glass, it's not. It's a beaker. Yo! If you didn't check it out, please check out the entire video on the Lemax Spooky Town. I will do kind of like a walk around of it, but if you wanna see the nitty gritty, the up close and the personal with each of these pieces, I did a whole video on it. It's like a 10 minute video on just this display, which is pretty cool. They do have a lot of it. Here's one of my favorites. This is one that really grew on me, the House of Shadows. But really, Michael's has a good selection and really Lemax as a whole has a great spooky town this year. But let me pivot to right behind the spooky town with these neon light up uh, signs, I guess. I'm trying to, I guess uh, there's no try me button, but you have a cat and a ghost and a bat and a pumpkin and a boo, I guess. Do you see that? I'm on my toes because Michaels is keeping me on them. Because if you'll notice, they have a completely new aesthetic going on uh, for their Halloween. And I, I actually dig it. I respect, I respect what they're doing here. Last year they had kind of a more gothic, kind of romantical Halloween. They do have that stuff. Oh, they do? Yeah. Well, they also have this and I kind of like it. I'm gonna start over here and work our way over. You have kind of this classic looking hanging ghost and another hanging ghost. No one ever said you can't have enough hanging ghosts, but there are hanging ghosts. You'll also notice a lot of their stuff is very bright with the Halloween colors, very vibrant and very poppy, uh, which can be good or bad depending on your taste. I think it's very different. I don't have a full opinion on it yet, but I will say I prefer something different. And so I'll take it. Do we have a ghost? Be our ghost. Uh, the pun game's a little lacking on that, but whatever. I like this guy. He's kind of nifty. It looks like something you'd get out of a claw machine, but it has more weight to it. So obviously it's not, but he's a, he's a, he's a spooky little dude. Reminds me of something you'd see like out of the fifties. I guess a lot can, can relate to that here. You have a black cat and you have the little ghost guy and a moon. See that little uh, house accessory. You can like put stuff in it, which is cool. More ghosts and a boo pillow. I'm gonna kind of breeze over some of it cause like I'm not gonna go into every single pumpkin, but they do have a large array of different pumpkins. They have a bathtub with cats in it. It's pretty interesting. Looks like something from a stop motion creepy movie. I do like the ghost one. Here we have, I have to shake it. I have to shake it. It was calling my name. But the little skeletons in there with like confetti, more boo. You have a, a sign that says haunted, or you could just be haunt former. I don't have the former part, but you get the idea. Boo and yikes, a lot of cats and a lot of ghosts. This really caught my eye, except I'm not crazy about the flashing changing color. I guess you could just really leave it as is, but that is cool. Very creepy. I love the eyeballs this year, Michaels. Good job. You have a haunted house, kind of a ceramic haunted abode and a boo sign. Are they all just boos or? Yeah, probably. A haunted home is a happy home. I couldn't agree more. You have ghosts, you have ghosts, you have trick or treat, and you have Diet Coke, my favorite Halloween prop of 2023. Little spell bottles, Hocus Pocus pillows. I like the bats on there. It kind of looks like uh, the moon, perhaps. You have a uh, Eek and Boo signs, respectfully. You have a Halloween countdown marker. No, we're not quite there yet. We're actually like way over here, but we'll get there. We'll get there, don't worry. And again, just more stuff. Look at this. This aesthetic is so kind of bizarre, but I do like it. It's very different. 
You have the ghosts and the cats. You're gonna see that a lot. That's a running theme here. We like, we're like really into Halloween. Yeah, that's, that's true. Also, you'll notice the pink. They're doing a lot of pinks this year. And while it's not entirely spooky, it's got a unique kind of flavor to it. And I can't say that I dislike it. Here you have some skeleton pillows with added legs and spell books. Here's a ghost. Oh, that reminds me of a ghost pillow I used to have when I was a kid. That is a throwback right there. I've always enjoyed the, the look of the sheet ghost, a staple of the holiday. Here you have a pumpkin guy. Oh, he's like made out of foam. What the heck? It's weird. Little potion bottles, little pumpkin pails, trick or treat pillows, happy Halloween sign, and an eek sign because you gotta eek, you know, you gotta eek. And you have the pumpkins and the cats again and another countdown kind of block thing. This one probably would go longer than that one. All three of these are pretty cool. They are these wooden hanging characters and all three are very spooky. You have a skeleton, of course, the black cat and a pumpkin. I've been getting into the black cats recently. I, I, I slept on them before, they're pretty cool. Neon kind of sign that doesn't really light up but it does appear that way and the pumpkin. You also have a neon pillow. Never thought I'd see the day, but here we are. And a pretty cool sign. I like the aesthetics. I love the, the shade of green that they have going for this stuff. But there you have a green lantern with bats, a white lantern with a haunted house, and an orange one with a cat and a pumpkin. Because, of course. You have a skull. Oh, look at the skeleton kitty. That's kind of cool. Going up here. You have little animals did, uh, dressed up. I almost said decorated up, dressed up for Halloween. Have the little pumpkin and cat guys. Here is a black cat sign. Very nice. Haunted house. And here we have some more pumpkins. Little, they look like little crocheted pillows. Again, all of this stuff has such an aesthetic to it that I quite like. It's very different. You have the ghosts, and here's these little, ooh, the little, ooh, the fuzzy, remember the fuzzy? Fuzzy from Joanne's, now we have it at Michael's. Fuzzy bats, nutcrackers, okay, here's a witch assorted with the other characters. Fuzzy spider, and down here, look at the cats. We got two more cats and a candelabra. I must say, Michael's, you're throwing me for a loop here, but I can't say I dislike it. Well done. Way to keep me on my toes. I was so hyper-focused on this side that I didn't even talk about this side, which luckily there's not as much to get into. There's just a butt ton of garlic. Garland. <laughs> there is a butt ton of garland. Look at all this spooky garland. What, what, what? Robert is here to say that pirates are a Halloween monster. That looks so... Why does it have lips? Look at all of this garland. Just, you know, pause the video when you see your favorite garland. Clap when you see your favorite garland. There are a lot of them. And they vary from, like, little fuzzball things to witch hats to just, like, something you'd maybe see at, like, the dollar store, kind of. To this odd confetti uh, ornaments, border, bordering on ornaments. I don't know. This is crazy. This is a lot to take in michaels i'm very pleased you have moon crescent moon pillows you have skull pillows you have black cats and bats and tickets oh it's not a ticket it just looks like a ticket welcome to our haunted house ah 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 i need to fix that the halloween ocd was kicking in but we fixed it this is nuts look at all that that's pretty spooky. Yo, 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 I just realized. This looks like the Halloween 3 pumpkin with the TV static in the background. That is cool. And now we head into Michael's. <laughs> I hope they have some good stuff. Well, would you speak of the devil or skeleton? Whatever. 
What the? Check it out. They got it. They got a lot of it. Oh, and it's in a different place than the other location. Check that out. Look at the spiders, or the fuzzy spiders and fuzzy little cats. That's cool. It's this like neon, I don't even know what you would call it. Like the, like those signs that light up. Very cool. I'm digging it. I like the eyeball thing they have going on this year. Can they keep doing that? That'd be, that'd be great. The pink is throwing me off a bit. I wish it were purple. Other than that, nailed it quite nice, Michaels. I really like these eyeballs. Really digging those. We already saw a lot of this though. See if we can find some new stuff. Well, hello, hello. New stuff. I love it. Okay, here we go. Oh man, there's a lot to take in. Let's start here. This is witch house type of stuff. I love that placard. Look at that. You have these brain juice, cranium poison. Countdown to Halloween. That is awesome. Look at that. It's like a like a hotel meter thing. How cool. You have these tins. You have, of course, the notorious black cat. Oh, something's making noise. Oh, it's the books. Oh, and look at that. Animated witch. It's like a bust. Michaels is finally getting a few more animated pieces, which is just, which is just lovely. Oh, look at the haunted mirror. See that? Oh, it turns into a skeleton. It turns into a skull face. Crystal ball. Here we have tombstones. More cauldron stuff. Here is an animated skeleton cat. It's a bit of a shame I'm not seeing this stuff set up anywhere. If I find it in the future, I will show you. Oh, and here's a bat clock. Look at that. These are sweet. I didn't even know Michaels had some of this stuff. I knew about this, but I had no idea about the clock and the mirror and that type of stuff. All right, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked. Here you have a witch hat. Here you have, oh, it's a cat holding a mouse in its mouth. That is really cool. Do you dare enter the witch's lair? Yeah, yeah, I do. Cause I'm here right, and hello, I'm here right now. Um, it's all hocus and no pocus. Don't lose focus. These really cool skulls. More fuzzy skulls. Yeah. And here's just these really cool labeled skulls with the the parts of it, parts of the skull label. It's not a friend head, not to be confused with phrenology, which was a whole pseudoscience back in the day. We don't have time for that, but here's a brain. I actually did pick this up last year. I quite like the brain stuff. And here you have some different cracked crystal balls. Not cracked by me. I mean, they're pre they're pre cracked. You have the palm hands and a lot of the moon tarot stuff with the cat, kind of this weird mythical, mystical type of thing. You have a all seeing eye. Again, Michael's with the eyeballs. Down here, you have the witch curios collection. Look at that, a toad. That is so cool. Witches brew pillows and, oh look, a a skeleton bust, both black and white. And I just love the aesthetic of this stuff. It's so different. Here you have a crow skull, bat juice. Oh, look at that. Butterflies on this skull in the clock. Is that what it's called? Cloak? Something. Something to see. And let's just make sure I'm not... Oh, look at that hourglass. Let's flip that. Look at that. This stuff is crazy cool. They even have a little grinder thing. This is sweet. You have uh, some candle holders of varying sizes and shapes. Old Salem Broom Company. This is sweet. Oh, look. Quote the Raven. Nevermore. How cool is that? Edgar Allan Poe. 
I'm a pretty big Poe fan, so this is exciting. Here's Edgar Allan Poe on the toilet. Okay, that's just weird. That's just strange. Oh, here you have, again, here's Edgar Allan Poe typewriter and the, the Raven Nevermore. Have I been saying crow? I meant raven. Anytime I said crow, I meant raven. Headless Horseman, what? Legends of Sleepy Hollow. Never thought I'd see Legend of Sleepy Hollow and Edgar Allan Poe merch at Michael's. This is something else. I mean, the animated stuff's cool, but this is debatably cooler. A Guide to Fears and Phobias. Magical Drafts and Potions. How cool. Here is an... Oh. Uh-oh. Someone's leaving with something. Hopefully it's no Halloween. There's an Edgar Allan Poe. I can't even talk. Edgar Allan Poe, like, tapestry thing. It's like a canvas print. And here's an Edgar Allan Poe sign. How sick is that? And then here is the raven with a monocle on, looking like Mr. Monopoly. And then you have, oh, that's so cool. A little pumpkin, Frankenstein's monster. I love that Frankie. Oh, it's Mary Shelley. Look, Mary Shelley, Washington Irving. Oh, it's all the authors and Edgar Allan Poe. That is incredible. I love these. Shout out to the horror literature of the days of old. Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Whoa, Ichabod Crane. Oh, this is so cool. This got me hyped. Again, another Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Really fun story. Look at the candle. This stuff is so neat. 20 bucks. And it's pretty affordable. It's, it's good quality, too. Ichabod Crane. Tombstone. How much is that? 15 bucks. How cool. This might be one of Michael's coolest collections in a while. I quite like all of that. It's a little bit mythical, magical, and it's got, of course, the... Oh, I didn't even notice that. That's a really cool skull. And the author stuff is really dope. Here are some of the tombstones they have at Michael's. Here you have this classic cross tombstone. In memoriam, rest in peace. Here you have some of the bundles. They have a few bundles quite like that one with that old wooden looking cross with the skull on it and here's another one died a long time ago well that just goes without saying over here here is the animated ravens on a skull man i really wish they had this stuff set up and here is an animated tree look at him with a snake on him and everything and there's another one of those witches over here we have, look at that, light up willow tree and light up spooky tree. I guess there's a difference. Yeah, this one looks a tad taller and more lankier. This one's got more just lights directly on the tree. These kind of drape off of it. Okay, Michaels. Okay. Here we have some doorbells. Ooh. That's a good eyeball. Let's see what this one does. <gasps> Ooh. That is actually dope. Let's do that again. There's a skull in there. And then this one looks really different. This is an owl. Welcome, welcome. I hope you were not easily spooked. I have some surprises that await. I like that too. Happy Halloween. Feel free to make yourself at home. Just don't make too big of a hoot. Hmm. <laughs> Good one. Good one, Mr. Owl. And he's going to tell us how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop, I hope. No? Just me? All right, that's fine. I want to look over here too. There's more there's more stuff in the middle, but I want to look over here because I noticed some fungus going on, which has been a, a, a little recent obsession of mine because funguses are weird and awesome. This is like, again, going to that mystical, mythical, fairy-like stuff that I've recently come to enjoy. Here are like dead fairies. You have like... Uh, 
here's Florence Pugh from Midsommar, post, post cult. Welcome. Thank you. Here are these busts, really creepy looking, with the flowers on top of her head there. Spooky, indeed. Again, more just flowery types of things, and you wouldn't think I'd like it, but I actually kind of do. Here's a bat hanging upside down in a little cage there, in a bird cage. And here is a golden snake. Kind of looks like the infinity symbol, but there is a golden snake right there. I'm guessing you just like set that, yeah, set it wherever. Pink and purple fuzzy skulls. Okay, this is pretty cool. I don't know why I like this so much, but it's literally just mushrooms in a case. Just so weird. Mushrooms and funguses are so odd to me. Oh, here's a little um, like Audrey 2 Venus flytrap. Wicked Garden is the line here. I like that. And then this one has a little golden like scarab beetle or just a beetle in general. There's like a cracked open skull. You could put like candy or something in it. And got some banners and some bats, haunted home signs. And there's Mac in the window. Ugh. I like that squeaking like nails on a chalkboard. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I could see a lot of people who are a little more on the bougier side of Halloween than me, really going for a lot of this stuff. It's an elegant kind of spooky that we don't see that much. Okay, this is, oh, uh-oh, something fell. Look at that, pulling her groom's head off. But they're still in love. That's true love right there. Okay, so last year we had the bride, but this year, look at that. We have the groom or the monster. How sick is that? Frankie. And then down here, just some more weird stuff. You have a heart wrapped in a snake. You have, oh, I love that. Look at that, the x-ray frames. And then these really weird frames. I don't even know if it's an actual frame or just more so just a thing you put on your wall. That's pretty cool. If I spin around here, as you can see, they have some smaller things, some skeletons, and this guy stuck out to me, a green skeleton. That is weird. That looks like something from Target. More skeletons. You have a little unicorn skeleton. You have the green glow-in-the-dark-ish skeleton. Eyeballs. Oh, those are really nice eyeballs. Look at that. I like those. Uh, I'm just wanting, not wanting to miss anything. You have the weirdest looking cat with scoliosis that I've ever seen. Okay, we fixed him. He's better now. Bags of bugs. More eyeballs. And yeah. Look a little a dragon. These are pretty sick. But here's some more of these skeletons. Pink, standard, clowns, pirate, a doll, a mermaid, a bride and a groom. And look, an owl. Michaels. You did it again, you dirty, dirty dog. And again, even though I did an entire video on the Limax Spooky Town, I'm still gonna look at it because it's so cool. Oh, they have the haunted house billboard with the lights on. That is dope. And they do have the Gothic Hills parlor with the lights on. And they have the Wicked Wigs with the lights on. Check that out. That is so cool. Oh, look at the tree guy. That's awesome. Okay, Michaels, this is definitely one of your better years. I don't know if I want to say best yet, but maybe one of them. I love the pulse on this house. So poltergeisty. 
Thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for more spookiness. Not just at Michael's, but at all these retail stores that are getting in their Halloween. It's a lot. And it's just beginning. Remember, for all things Halloween, this is Hauntformer.